This is a big, rich town. I just come from the poorest part. Bright like city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. I just happen to come apart. Little or little baby, I gotta make it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Power After Hours, your favorite power podcast. I'm your host, Jeff J. Chrissy's here, too. And we are here to recap Power Season 6, Episode 12, He Always Wins. Chrissy, what's going on? What's up, man? I mean, it's been a, it's been a long night, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. <laughs> but uh, we here. We ready to rock. Um, shout out to all the folks who... Uh, Locked in their two-factor authentication. Each one reach one. Yeah, I, know. I got so many messages last week about that. You guys, appreciate you, one, for listening to the podcast. Word. But for two, uh, taking my advice and turning that joint on. Save Listen. yourself $265. Listen, we ain't, we ain't trying to get extorted <laughs> in the 2019. You feel me? All of that is over. Unhacked and blessed. <laughs> Unhacked and blessed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And speaking of blessings, we, we would like to have we'd like to have peace on our social media and, and it looks like Paz didn't really didn't really find that peace and it was kind of more like acceptance. But yeah, this this episode focused on Paz from Paz's mm-hmm. perspective. Mm-hmm. And we get to see what the total fallout was from Angela dying, how it affected her family and the decisions that she made to try to get ghost to pay for the murder, who she ultimately thinks is the person who killed Angela. Um, So what, what did you, what did you think about the episode? Oh man, I really went into this episode. I I was (laughs) I'm not a big fan of them making pause a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was kind of put off that they dedicated an entire 60 minutes to just her character, essentially. Um, I, I said in the beginning, I did not want pause to be the one who killed him just because I didn't feel like um, the reasoning is there. We've watched this show for so many seasons and I didn't feel like he deserved to die by the hands of someone like pause. Um so I don't I don't know. I don't know really know how to feel about this episode. I'm not happy with it. I'm not upset with it. I'm kind of just floating in the middle. Right. What about you? Um so this is what I feel. I don't feel like it was a quote unquote bad episode. I just wasn't interested. And this has nothing to bored. do because um Elizabeth, I believe her name is Elizabeth Rodriguez, who plays Paz. She did her she does her thing with the character. Correct. It's just hard for me to buy in when Paz really ain't been around. Thank you. Paz really ain't been around since the the first couple of episodes. So she's been operating in the background for at least two thirds of the season. Yeah. So if you're gonna operate in the background like that, then to me, to me, it's like what yeah, she all of a sudden wants to kill Ghost. We don't know why. We're getting the answers now, but does it really matter? I felt I felt like a lot of the episode it was like power. so what for me. What were you yeah, saying? Like I, I just ugh. no, I'm saying why does she deserve a full hour? Like I, I just didn't feel like her character deserved all of that. You know what I mean? I mean, they gave us snippets into other pieces of different characters. We got a little bit of um Tasha, we got a little bit of Tommy, but I just didn't feel like Paz deserved all of this. Like, I literally was bored watching this episode. I, I was just sitting there, and if we didn't have to record this podcast tonight, I probably wouldn't have watched it. I'm not even going to lie to you. Wow. Yeah, that's strong. <laughs> that's strong. Yeah. And I could tell, um, you know, a lot of the fan sentiment is your way. Because, yeah. you know, everybody's like, what the fuck? Like, we, we're watching... Pause starring in power right now. Like that's yeah. not what I signed up for. But um, you know, we're 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 pushing through, we're soldiering through, like I said. I think so not only not only did they give us a full hour of pause, they supplemented her with other side plots that were that were diminished this this episode, right? I mean this season. So 
her yeah. and then you know they give you the the sprinkles the the salt based sprinkles of topics right they give you those little mm-hmm. sprinkles but you don't really get like like you get we get um Warner Warner story like Warner was a lot in the DA's yeah. office and I get why they did it because Angela was in the DA's office so they they wanted to make or the US the US AUSA office or whatever mm-hmm. the US attorney's office so they wanted to make that bridge but then it's like I was over it you know what I mean I was over it a lot of it I was over a lot of it just like overall feeling wise it's, it's just hard one of the things about this show is despite its flaws people are connected to the characters and when they fuck with a character they want to see that character shine and if you're giving yeah. us a character that nobody really like there's no reason to care about Paz yeah she was the None. family she was Angela whatever but they didn't really get past past being the 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 older sibling who doesn't get the love the younger sibling does past that yeah that that entitlement and that um older sister i told you so energy that she gives off and you know I'm, i wasn't really like yo my god i got to blah 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 you know like i wasn't tied yeah. in but I do think on the positive that her story did move some stuff forward in the future timeline. Yeah, I agree with that just based on the ending and how right. it ended up. Yeah. That's why I felt, you remember, yeah, I think even in the last podcast, I said, I thought that the pause episode was going to be mixed in with somebody else's. Like I felt like it was going to be a twofer. Right. You know what I mean? Um, because I just didn't feel like she you had earned 60 minutes. Um, I agree with you in what you're saying. I feel like they wanted us to kind of feel for pause in this episode. They wanted us to understand her character, but you've had so many seasons for us to try to build a relationship and get to know pause to throw her in, in the very end literally makes zero sense because at the end of the day, she's not the one who killed them. Right. So and nobody that believed that our son, like n- none of this stuff, adds up it doesn't even it doesn't matter in the end none mm-hmm. of it right so let, let's let's get to let's get to a list of the things that 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 happened in this episode you could tell yeah. like all right she's she finds out she finds out that there, there was a few things that they made evident one th- this whole time the reason why we ain't see this because clearly she's been waiting for that pension money angela's yeah. pension money that's what's gonna help her father's um, get into a home and be taken care of his well-being and his, her son to go to I guess private school. That's what I'm assuming. Right? So mm-hmm. they've been waiting for yeah, the money. Yeah, I think that's what she was paying for. Right. They've been waiting for the money. She sees she sees that um, uh, she sees that he's gonna run for he. she gets the same alert that she's gonna he's gonna run for a office for lieutenant governor and she's like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, this can't happen. He killed he killed my sister, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. So, um, you know, and no matter what everybody's telling her, she she wants revenge. And she Which wants revenge at all costs. I actually felt that was poignant. Everyone telling her that your sister made this the decision to right. be with Jamie. Jamie didn't force her. He didn't hold a gun to her head. You know, she got herself mixed up in all of this because it was her choice and i kind of like that all of the characters made it a point to tell her that like yo angela did this on her own volition like you are mad at everybody else but you've yet to accept the fact that your sister chose this life right. you need to be mad at her you right. know what i mean like you mad at everybody else but be mad at the root of the problem right. it was your sister and and mm-hmm. and it's you know and i think throughout the episode was what was building to that final scene to get those mm-hmm. revelations, right? She mm-hmm. goes to sex. She goes to sex. Like, everybody going to sex complaining, like, you were supposed oh, to sex. be the main person to take this man down. This man ain't taking down. You know what I'm oh, saying? Which I, thought was, which I thought was funny. She goes to sex. Sex tells him, tells him straight up. He didn't do it. I'm going to let you know. He didn't, yeah. he didn't do it. He, um, uh, d- everything came back saying that it wasn't him. So even if you want, he could be the dirtiest guy in the world. We know at least he didn't do that. Then she goes, she goes to Warner when, when she finds out. And I thought it was hilarious how he, he, he finally got tight that everybody kept letting sex into the building. I mean, she's like, yo, the dude is fired or whatever. And she finds out. It's just like, what the hell? 
right? So she goes to Warner. Yeah. She goes to Warner and and like, um, you know, after all of those doors are closed in her face, she finally realizes I could get I could get him. I, I could take him down. But and I think it was it was after the talk with Tasha, too, because she tried to get Tasha. She tried to. um um uh, She wanted she wanted to team up with Tasha to take her down. To right. take to take ghost down and Tasha's just like yo, this is just what happens. Like unfortunately, and she's un- like, I don't have anything. Right, like, <laughs> I don't you take him anything. down. I'm gonna have even less than what I have now. Right. Like I can't right. help you. So she couldn't even take ghost down if she wanted to, because she, it she would hurt her. Angela's body for nothing. Right, like so. So I thought it was there was a lot of interesting things that she did. When she realized that she buried the phone with Angela. And I, I give them credit for that. I never, I wondered, I just thought that was like something sentimental. The fact that they yeah. brought that back for, I, I thought that was, I thought that was I, like that was I. Okay. So they, they, and, and I saw some people saying that it was stupid. Like, why would she exhume the body? Right. But mm. I, I, I always retort smart people do stupid shit every day. That's true story. And she's blinded by anger. She's blinded by anger. Um, yeah. All that. She, she, it's, it's a whole emotional world because she's, she's angry. She's bitter. She's furious. She's she's distraught. You know? Well, because when she originally by buried that phone, if you recall, the point of her doing that was be what Angela did with her so that she could get the pension. Right. Like she was under the assumption that everything that Angela had done that was dirty was pretty much on that phone and that would keep her safe and be able to get the money. Nobody would know Angela's secrets. That was the point of her bearing that phone with Angela. Right. Because it was after that that talk that she had with Tasha and all mm-hmm. that nonsense. So to dig that back up, I was like, oh, okay. But I'm just glad that nothing was on the phone because I'm like, that phone been sitting in dirt. Like, <laughs> ain't no way. All up in, her, no all up in her casket and whatnot. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. She she dug that up. And, and and to his credit, Warner told her, yo, if you're, you're going, you want to take James St. Patrick down at the expense of your, your sister's reputation. Yep. And the fact that if we find anything that corroborates her as in a conspiracy to help him with this criminal stuff, then you won't get the pension anymore. It, you, you will burn all opportunities to yeah. get money. She was like, yo, he needs to go down. There's something that she want to do. it, And I have a hard time thinking that Angela would have told her to take the fucking money. Pause. Yeah, take absolutely. Money. I did that shit. Pause take being, the money. Pause was operating off of emotion. Right. She wasn't using any type of, as smart as Pause is, like she wasn't using any of her brains there. She was operating solely off of anger. Everybody was telling her, you need to be mad at your sister, be mad at your sister. But in the end, her sister is the one that's dead. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to really be mad at somebody, you know, who who did as much as Angela did for her family. I don't think people realize Angela was pretty much funding her family on right. top of her own life. She was taking care of um, her dad. She was also sending her nephew to that private school, which she brought up. I think that was season one that that was brought up. Like, and this, you know, Paz was like, you don't have to pay for it. And Angela's like, no, I, I am going to, he needs a better life. Um, so to not have that money, Paz's life is pretty much in disarray. You know, you've got to go back to, supporting your family all on your own and to not have that pension i can only imagine ruffled her feathers so much like that would make anybody crazy so she's making all of these decisions she's angry no one's gonna act rational when you one lost somebody and two you your whole life has been just pulled up from under you nobody's gonna act smart nobody's gonna act smart at all so they they exhume the body they get the card, they get the phone, nothing's on the card. They got some text messages or whatever, but they got the text messages that Angela sent to, um, I mean, that Angie sent to Tasha yeah, with certain things. And she, and Paz corroborates that those were stu- coordinations between them. So Warner's like, okay, you know what this means. Like, we can't do anything with it, but what it does do is confirm that Angela was doing some shady shit, so you're not going to get the pension. You know what I mean? And that that was like yeah. to me the beginning 
the beginning of the end, like for her sanity. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, um, everything, everything, uh, everything was kind of collapsing at that point. You got your, her father who doesn't even remember who she is, but keeps calling her Angela. You got the son who's yeah. pressing her about school, which, you know, shout out to him. That man was like, yo, I got to go back to school. Like, you know, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay out the hood. I'm trying to stay in school. I've never seen a kid want to go to school so bad. He got some shit going on at that school because he wanted to go back. Like I never seen somebody so enthused. (laughs) Right? He might be the plug. Oh my god! If that's what ends up happening, I'm be sick, bro. He (laughs) might be the plug. Like Paz's son was like, "Yo, she's gone. Angela's gone. I gotta go back to school though. So where is money, mom? What happened? You got me with Poppy." You got me with Poppy. He don't even know who I am. He's not taking the drugs, and I need to go back to school. Every he's time like, I need to energy, learn some the school energy. He's like, you know what I'm saying? I got books I gotta read. I got social studies. You know what's happening in the world, Mom? For what? For what? Just to kill ghosts? I hate you so much. <laughs> Just to kill ghosts, Mom? <laughs> Poppy don't know you. Poppy don't know me. If you say Poppy one more time, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You know, that man was sick. That if you ever took care of a, of, of a loved one or something like that, an elderly loved one, you already knew his struggle. The minute his oh. mom came in, he was like, oh, thanks God. And she was like, no, oh, just just hold him down. I got to do something else. He's like, what? No, no, again. Again? <laughs> I didn't even get paid. I just want to have a life. Young I got to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, straight I'm up, saying. man. Straight up. Right. So, so she has that pressure. She has the family pressure. She has everything. So she yeah. doesn't want, she doesn't want to drop it. So you get, she tries to exhume the body. That doesn't work. Then she tries to wear a wire and we get that scene where she's talking to ghost about who shot Angela. And then we get, we get, um, we get the, the whole backstory of where she's trying to get him to admit to crime. And to me, it's like, Ghost didn't want to say anything incriminating. I feel like he got a he his spider sense went off. And he was like, yeah. oh, why is she asking questions like this? So we get to the part where he's like, where Ramona's overhearing, and he's just like, I don't know, I can't help you. I don't know who's I don't know who did it. You know, he's not gonna give Tommy up or whatever. And I thought it was funny that Warner said you just want him to confirm the criminal empire. Do not ask about Angela because if you yeah. ask about like, we, he was like, don't ask about Angela's work. That's not it because that's just what it is. And she, and she, she was good for like mm-hmm. two seconds, two seconds. It didn't last long. Right. It didn't and, last long. And, and he, he, he did admit that Angela helped keep, helped his family. He said he helped his family, helped all of us and kept up, kept, kept them out of jail, all of that. So he did, he, they did get something. They did get something. I think also at the end of the day, Ghost didn't kill her either. <laughs> right, at the end like, of the day. Ghost has done a lot of shit. Don't get me wrong now. We've talked about a lot of things Ghost has done, mm-hmm. and, but the one thing she's accusing him of, he actually didn't do. Right. This is the one thing he didn't do. Right. So I think when you come in and you want to all of a sudden be calm when you've been so irate with him all this time, you know, as many mistakes as ghost has made, he's still extremely intelligent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like you said, I do believe his spidey senses went off and he was like, yo, I'm not saying nothing that's going to get me and incriminate me because now he got to think he's looking at himself like a politician. You never show your hand. Mm -hmm. So he did really well. I was actually surprised. Yeah. So, so yeah, he, he 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 killed that, but you could tell like that was when she was fed up. Like, don't talk to me again. And even Warner says like, yo, some of our best guys couldn't crack him. Like, don't be mad. He's like, oh, we got a little something, but you know, Angela's Angela's pension is still out of here. Yeah. Oh well, right. So, <laughs> so then of course she tells the son, don't tell, <laughs> don't tell Poppy that <laughs> that um Angela's dad would do. <laughs> And then the sun's blowing up her phone. I was not saying Poppy because I'm not gonna be able to focus. Yo, he right. was like, he was like, she was like, what happened? When, when they get to the hospital, yo, I told him. <laughs> Why would you do yo, that? Yo, I'm teenagers are the worst. He's like, yo, man, fuck. You know what happened? He got fr- he got fed the fuck up. 
That man called He's him like Julio. Care of his he called that that man called him Lobos. Yeah. That man called him Julio. Everything but what his name is. And he was like, you know what, Poppy? You know Angela dead, right? He's like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, just to fuck with him. Get back up. Get back up. Get to this it. Y'all know I cannot get to this it. I, I wish the oh. podcast down so quick. Please stop. You know I don't know how to stop laughing, Jeff. Please. Yo, yo, you know Poppy was sick. <laughs> fainted and everything. He was done. Yo, he was finished. He bad fainted and, and, and whatnot. So he was he was <laughs> done. So you knew. You knew. Once 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 she <sighs> went back, once once she was like, yo. I she realized I blew the I blew the pension. <laughs> I blew the pension, Did I blew you? all of that, and James is still still out there. So that was that's when it was like final straw time where she like tooled up, went to go, yeah. went to go get him. We that that was one revelation that that shot from the um that shot from the street that was watching him walk. We were wondering who the hell mm-hmm. was that, and it was her. Uh, it was her and she was yeah. trying to she wanted to go shoot him didn't happen then the funniest but this part was after didn't she get the gun from her son though i believe she did yeah yeah i might i might be i might be i might have said that uh a little bit uh no 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 not even she did get the gun i think she, no she got the gun from under her bed she got oh, she took the gun from her son after, later on the episode. It. yeah so, you know, she was going to, she wanted to shoot him and then was like, nah. Then she went to Tabi and was like, yo, you remember what you said? He was yeah. like, yo, you remember what you said if I needed anything to call? And he was like, yeah, I but uh, I think he was going to show, <laughs> show up here. So she's like, she's yeah, like. Yeah. It's funny because even Warner said the same thing. I didn't mean it. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, Warner was just like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to do that. Like when he, when she went back to him for that whole thing, which is hilarious. Right? <laughs> Everyone so, kept saying it about her. Like, oh, it's like pause. Better. Like what the what the hell? Um. So Tom, I love what you was like. I need I need you to kill the man that that I I need to the the kill the man who killed my 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 sister. And I know Tommy's like, well, I ain't gonna kill myself. So, uh, I, I can't do that. Uh, uh, so the she, way he, he said, gets I, can't, out of here. I can't do that. Tommy's not <laughs> Tommy's not gonna help. Tasha's not gonna help. Um. Nope. And then on top of that, she tells um she tells Paz about Ramona about how that's the new woman in his life and he moved on like he's gonna live a whole new life he told you that he cared about Angela but he said that about me too and and all of that and that's when you know she's like on top of this he's getting away scot-free I still think he killed my sister and he's moving on which was the part where I'm like all right you're gonna get tight but that man can move on you know what I'm saying? He has every right to move right, on. Right, but but I can understand <laughs> from her perspective. She was like, whatever. But but when we get to the parts where everybody's telling him about telling her and telling her about what Angela was, <laughs> Tommy was like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie. She wasn't really that good." <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that? Like, yo, Tommy's messy as hell. Tommy's like, he wasn't He's forever that good. petty, petty Pendergrass. Right. Like Tommy is, like, he will say whatever comes to his mind without any care in the world. Right. None. Right. We so, haven't seen him much, which is crazy. Like Tommy? this is our first time actually seeing Tommy in a minute. Right. Other than like the little snippets last episode, he hasn't had extensive time. But you yeah, know, it looks he's like he's in a car. Right. It looks like next week it's going to be the change because when we get to that, it's got to like, be about yeah, him because yeah. of the way it ended. Right. But yeah. um. You know, which I have a question about too. When we get to that point, I have a question. But okay. go ahead. So, so yeah, yeah. just a, just a, so now we we know Tasha ain't helping her. Tommy ain't helping her. Sax is useless. Warner Warner got all the info yes. on Angela, but now um he he really he really really can't do anything. So Paz is like, yo, fuck it. You know, I'll do it myself. Rolls up into mm-hmm. truth. Rolls up into truth with the gun. Has that confrontation with Ramona. Or, yeah, yeah, that confrontation with Ramona. Where Ramona's like, she was like, "Yo, how could you date him?" He's like, "Yo, he, he's, I, I think he's a changed man. That was stuff from his past, and now he'll be unstoppable." And that was kind of like it was a little melodramatic, but it was, was very uh, soap opera. Yeah, and now a pause is like, "Yo, fuck it, I'm gonna do that." So you see her moving throughout, moving throughout the crowd, moving, moving, moving. Sees him, sees him, sees him. 
has a clear shot, doesn't take it. And then she was going to take it, but then, uh, um, well, even before that, let me back up before that. The reason why we got there is because she was in her room. Once she realized nobody wanted to help her, she's in the room crying. But like she tried to, uh, oh, no, nah, I'm walling. I'm walling. That, that's, that is what happened. Goes in, says she's not going to, sh- says she's not going to um, shoot. Um, she makes a decision because we go through the flashbacks of everybody telling her about what Angela was about. Yeah. And she just is like, all right, you know, she, 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 she was, she, she, that was like acceptance. That was acceptance. Yeah, it took her. her a minute. It took her a minute. But in that moment, she accepted, she accepted it, walked away, went back home. The son, cause the son was about it. He wanted to go back to school. Wanted to go back to school first. But, but Wabin, what'd you say? She went to the hospital first. Oh, to see. She went to the hospital first to see her dad. Right. And and that was actually the moment when her dad he realizes, oh shit, this is Paz. And he his memory is you know if you've ever had anyone in your life that deals with dementia or, or um anything where the memory is not sound, sometimes they will come to and remember the moment they're in at that moment. Right. And so I think that also gave her peace when he was telling her, you know, why, why we named you, um, pause, you know, who you were, what I believe for you, mm-hmm. how amazing of a, of a child you are. She's listened to her dad praising Angela for years, years, years. She's never gotten that herself. And in that moment, she finally received that from her dad. Mm-hmm. And you kind of see a sense of release. Like she released, she cried, right. and I felt like that was the moment where she said, "You know what? I'm okay." Yeah, because she good. was finally at peace, and it felt like the moment she let go was when, yeah, was when, um, like the moment she let go was when everything just started to get lifted, and the father remembered her for that yeah. one time and all of that. But then she goes back home, and the the, the her son hears her crying. So his are crying in the room or whatever. And even before the son was like, yo, what you want to do? I know some people like we can. And she wasn't trying to hear it, but the son was going to take matters into own, in his own hands, takes the gun, walks out. She confronts him in the street. What the hell are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. Takes the gun from him. And then we get that we're going shot. out of order. Huh? I'm pretty sure we're going out of order. Nah, because the- I, I don't think, I think the, the, what you just said about the father I think that happened after the gun scene. Because if you remember... Isn't that takes, what we were talking about? Right. But she takes the gun. She takes the gun from the son. And then we get the shot of her walking that walking up to Truth. But she was actually going into her car to leave. Oh, okay. I see you get what, what I'm saying? saying? Okay, okay. So okay, she okay, took okay. the gun, okay. left, yeah. brought it back, and put it back in the box or whatever. And I think th- before she went home, she saw the father. Because she saw the father, then then she put the gun away, and then goes to sleep next to her son, and that's when they wake up in the morning to see that um, James is dead, and then we get a little bit more news that they, that um we get we get a little bit more news about it or whatever the case may be. But even the son is like, "Yo, I thought you said you wasn't trying to do that." And she was like, "Yo, it wasn't me." So yeah. so that was that was the um that was the the one revelation that what eliminated her as a suspect. And I think the moment she left when she walked up was when we knew she wasn't, you know, it, it clearly wasn't her. I mean, Loki, we knew the minute she was not announced as a suspect, but um, yeah, that's when well, we knew that it wasn't her. <laughs> right. So what yeah, was the yeah. fall? And after, yeah, okay. I yeah, see what you. Yeah. See so what, you what was the fallout from that? So that 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 kind of ended early because like the last 10, 15 minutes, we got what happened post Ghost's death, right? After Ghost's right. death. Right. And I'm wondering how far a- ahead we are at that point. That's it must be because if we're already at the will stage, mm-hmm. a few a few weeks has gone by at right. that point. Right. But then right? look at look at everything, everything that happened. Um Warner gets fired because apparently he went up against the Democratic Party yeah. when they were telling him to relax. They were telling him, like, yo, stop investigating James St. Patrick. He belongs to us now. Like, we're pushing him. 
And then after he dies, because Warner Warner gets the order, still goes to get the warrant for James's arrest, which I think that was the warrant that Blanca was yeah. carrying when she yeah. when Dre hit her, right? Gets that warrant, James dies, and then the 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 whoever the dude was from the Democratic Party was like, "Yo, I try to tell you, I try to tell you to chill." And then Warner ends up getting fired. She talks to Blanca, finds out that Tasha was in truth that night. Blanca mm-hmm. tells her that and also tells her like, yo, I'm sorry. I don't think you're going to get the money. She buries yeah. Angela. And then we get, we get this will stage, which, which first off, um, shout out, shout out to Elvin. Yeah, my dude, listen, you, you, the people who made fun of that man for working at Trader Joe's, he has had the greatest come up since. My dude is working for Tyler Perry. Yeah, He's been Owens. on the Have Nots. He's now on Power. Like we, you know, Black Twitter, you can say a lot of things about us, but we done got that man. We got him back right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like that was what's up, man. Like shout out to Jeffrey Owens. Like he, he I like seeing him pop up in more spots. So he was yeah. the exec, the, the executor of, of the estate. And, um, so that was a like real that was real cool because she gets the call. I think she gets the call during um the reburial to yeah. to come or, or you know whatever. So she's there. You see Tommy's mom come out talking about that. And that's where my question comes What's in. Up? Tommy's mom is getting money from Ghost. Right. Would you not think Ghost would have left that money to Tommy? He might have left Tommy money too. Because remember, she took him in. Right. And she said something about my other son as she was walking out. Right. She's she talking about she, Tommy. Because she I'm considered wa- Ghost a son. See, and then it, part of me is wondering if Tommy is even alive. Because you're fast forwarding weeks at this point. Mm-hmm. Now I'm wondering if she's getting the money that Tommy was supposed to get. That's That's a good question. That's a real good question. I didn't even think like that. But even when... Tasha admits that Tommy killed her. Like when 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 Tasha shows up and is like, "Yeah, of course mm-hmm. you, of course she left he left money to Angela." And he was like, "Nah." They the executor tells her that um the day after they had that conversation in truth, he went to the lawyer and updated the will to put pause in it in mm-hmm. Angela's place whatever money Angela would have got. Which is nuts that Angela was in his will. Nuts. <laughs> It's but we nuts. all know Ghost was uh, he. There was something about Angie that he just had a pull on him. We've seen that time and time again since the very beginning of this show. Like it doesn't. Re- I'm actually not surprised she's in the will because that's just the type of shit that mm-hmm. Ghost would do. Mm-hmm. It it, it I really guess. is. I guess it that, really man, is. that man is different. That man and Tasha was like, "Yo, you gotta be fucking kidding me." He put this bitch in the will. That's crazy. But yeah. she, she, she didn't want, and Paz didn't want to accept the money because she didn't want quote quote unquote ghost charity. But then mm. after she asked Tasha if she did it, Tasha doesn't admit and gives a smirk. Then, then, uh, which which is typical because they don't want to confirm whatever, whatever, whatever. That also then, tells me Tasha, maybe she didn't do it. She knows who did it. Right. But, of course, because of course, right? And then mm-hmm. lets her know that Tommy Tommy killed Angela and um, it wasn't him. So like to lift that final burden and burden and allow her to, to go, um, allow her to be able to accept the money finally yeah. and get themselves right, get her kids right, get, get her son right, get their life right. So now... My question so you can go is, to school. <laughs> my question is, why why did Tasha tell that? Did did Tommy find out and uh, about Keisha and she's on there the run and he's trying to get him killed or what? Why would she burn Tommy like that? Because Tasha ain't a snitch, so why would she burn? Tommy she burned like him that? happily though. Right. She was almost smiling when she told Paz that it was Tommy. Mm-hmm. So that's why I agree with what you're saying. I think that Tommy finally may have figured out something that she maybe was involved with what happened um, to Keisha. He may be after her. We don't know. Um, but she definitely told her 
and to get back and to, to make sure somebody would get Tommy in a way. Right. So then that makes me think maybe he's not dead or he's on the run. Something Tommy. I don't know. Well, I don't I know if he's dead, about right? Kate being the one. If she was dead, if he was dead, maybe Paz would have known and not try to go to the house to shoot him. But then the house is cleaned out. So where the and hell now, did he go? You know what I'm saying? Like where the hell? Because you got to remember, he's also got that body on him. He's oh, also dealing right. with that because old snitch over here, right? Because okay. Dre, um, <laughs> spank, spank, put that body on him. So maybe he spank. dipped before right. that. Well, that so that call I believe came the night that Ghost got killed. So so okay. her going to Tommy to ask for and she Tommy didn't let her in like that. The second time. Right. Right. He didn't let her in like that. So he could have been in transition of leaving or escaping. Cause I don't think that I don't think because if we say that that time period, the the will thing was like a couple of days later, then he would have had time to be out. So maybe he he was out before that. But now now we gotta now we're down to five. We we don't know where Tommy is. And from the from the um previews next week it looks like he gonna have to pay that debt to the mob for killing benny yeah let's see tommy's got a lot on his head right now um he's dealing with spank you know ratting him out for that body he's got the mob issues he still is broken up about what happened to keisha so i'm really his episode is the one that i've been really waiting for because i feel like we're going to get a lot of answers right um to a lot of different things. I think we're going to get some closure between him and his mom. That relationship has always been really weird to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really interested to see how that finally closes out. Like I, I've been waiting on the Tommy episode and I can only pray that they do it right. Um, all in all, I mean, we got a little bit of snippets into the world of Paz. We got um, some answers, you know, about the other relationships, um, you know, that Jamie has dealt with, but I, I, if I had to sit here right now and say whether or not she still deserved 60 minutes after all that, I don't think right. so. I, I feel like the writers are giving us a good episode and then they give us, like they take us back. It's been a, it's been two steps season. forward, two steps back. It's been an inconsistent season. A shout out to uh, Mock. Mock was, Mock was back. Yeah. For, for a quick cameo and whatnot. But I see, would the call thing, him Han. The, the thing, uh, <laughs> the thing, uh, <laughs> Han, that's funny. So yeah. the thing about it is, this episode was always coming. If yeah. they would have dropped it after the break, people would have revolted. Like straight mm. up, people would have revolted. And they couldn't because of the way they tied it up to Dre. Yeah. So Dre was always going to yeah. be first. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm going to keep it real. Like I didn't really care. Like I didn't really care. I wasn't compelled to watch because of her. Like mm -hmm. I just didn't fucking care. Maybe they could have, maybe they could have made it like a two, her and Sax. Like that might have been double out of care, but at least something else yeah, like that give you us can more. interact with more of the other characters. Because at this point, yeah. you know, I know y'all sitting on that Tariq episode. I know you sitting on that Tariq episode because that's gonna be the one. Do you know that's the one? Lit. But my, we should not have transition episodes in the last five episodes of the series. I agree. We shouldn't. There shouldn't be a filler episode. There shouldn't be like a, a transition. It should be. We're we're at the we're at the the top the apex and it should be a smooth ride to the finish yeah. like it, it should be a, like a roller coaster ride to the finish <laughs> with with where everything matters and some stuff matters but who they use to focus on like who they centered nobody cared nobody cared and even to the point where nobody cared I think I think we're to the point in the fan base where everything's getting nitpicked everything's gonna be clown like yeah. of course you hear the obvious how the hell. Was she able to get into truth with a gun uh, at, at that event? For, especially, a, for a, a political event, right. I said especially the same after thing. there was a robbery, especially since there's bodies the in truth, thing. there should be metal detectors and all of that. I will say, you could have all that security, you could still get guns into certain spots, especially Facts, a woman with pause, a purse, though. especially a but woman with pause. a little purse. I, I feel you. I'm just saying, you know. Like somebody had said on Twitter, I was like, yo, how the hell does she know where everybody lives? And I was like, yo, 
the resourcefulness of a question. Puerto Rican woman. The Puerto Rican woman will find you. You fuck around and fuck around if you want. You know what I'm saying? But like sure. things like that, at this point, I've chosen not to let diminish my viewing experience. Yeah. Because I, like, like we got to get to the end. So yeah. if they're going to take liberties there, I'm not really going to stress it. I I would I wish they would just add little scenes here and there just to like clear up the logic, just to like tie those tie those loose ends. But whatever. I'm I'm in the same boat with you. I don't I this episode wasn't it was it was mid to me, but you know it's disappointing. We're, we're, let's let's just get to episode thirteen. You wanna hear what the um yeah. what the people were saying on Twitter? Um, yeah. Shout out to uh Bia Grierson. Uh, love the episode. I think it was to Tari- I think it was Tariq shot ghost, but won't get caught. Could be pinned on another mainstay character, and that is a basis slash reference then for the start of the spinoff show. Um, speaking of the spinoff show, I was searching through like some info on Power, and I found a post Courtney Kemp put up on New Year's Eve about Ooh. like the work that she put in for the year, and I saw binders for the different episodes of Power. And I saw binders for, and some of y'all might have seen this, the Power Book 2. And it was like 101, 102, 103, 108 or something like that. So apparently they shot eight episodes of the um, spinoff. gracious. Eight. That shit better be all right, man. <laughs> like, seriously. It better be good. Yeah, because I'm like. like I, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm very, I'm just, I'm getting disappointed. I, I really hope they deliver what I'm what I want for the series. Like yeah. I, I know we, we as fans, we may ask for a lot. I know, but you guys have built this show up for so many seasons. Like we've had such banger episodes. I mean, I'm talking about people would be in line waiting to watch on Saturday. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So for your final season to be this lackluster, I guess I'm just, yeah. I mean, I I, and I can tell the timeline more. don't care no more because people just land spoilers fine. Nobody's, nobody's arguing at this point. Like everybody's just like, whatever. It's a shame, but. And whatever. people, please stop saying Ramona. Stop saying Ramona is the killer. We have they said time listen. and time again that Courtney Kemp and the writers have said that the only killers are the people that we saw walking to truth in that episode. And it they said there's not no swerve. Ramona. And, and and here's the thing. If there is a swerve, then that's on them. Because I'm going a hundred off of what of what they said, but I don't think that there's a, a swerve with that um coming. Uh shout out to Jay Brown, ten twelve. True security system is horrible. How can people just walk in with guns? We just taught we, we, we touched with that, yes. Uh Saber J Power. Um I'm very disappointed in power episode twelve. Suck Pause's character is mm. irre- ir- irrelevant once again. Once Angela died, running her mouth. Now the family won't even get the pension. Valdez vigilante approach was a waste of an hour. I can't agree. really argue with that. Cash money, Faye. So nobody gonna talk about how my man's ghost left all his money to pause and her can't get a scholarship or a job as son, but left nothing for Tasha and his other no name as daughter. Fuck Tariq. <laughs> Well, we don't know what what Tasha got. I, I'm sure she got something, but yeah, we don't. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, it's 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 nasty hours right now. Um, people say they miss the sex scenes from Power. <laughs> that is true. We haven't gotten a good sex scene this whole series. I guess it's it's about. Uh, I mean, it's been a little bit uh, lacking right. ever since Angela died. We've not really seen anything. So yeah, shout yeah. out, shout out to Melon and Britt. Yeah, if, I think he left his wife and kids something too. They just showed Paz because it was her point of view. I'm sure the kids definitely yeah. got something. So here's here's something that was interesting, right? So I, I started saying, um, shout out to Al Sharptongue. I, I, I saw him tweeting about how Courtney kept gave away like a part of the plot to the to the shooting. So there's a, there's a clip from After Buzz TV that says, um, we may not learn the answer to who shot Ghost until January, but show creator Courtney Kemp joined the After Buzz TV power panel this week with some hints. She revealed that Ghost had been shot with none other than Angela's gun. Does this mean Angela's responsible? Kemp teased things may not be this simple. I'll give you guys one little thing. It's Angela's gun, Kemp relayed. She had a duty pistol, remember? Because she took it when she met with Nomar. Again, it's all for the fans, remember? Remember Nomar, first season, who was messing with Ruiz's daughter? You remember she had to take the gun with her? It's her gun. Then she posted on Instagram, I did not say Ghost was shot with Angela's gun. I said Paz was carrying Angela's gun in the poster. 
I don't know how that confusion happened, but that's not what I said, and it's not what happened. Mm. So I don't know. After Buzz TV, you got some explaining to do because the way it sounded, it sounded like you're saying that she had Paz's gun. So if it's in the poster, then okay, because those guns are completely different. But once again, I I don't know. I I don't I don't know. But um, because if it was her, I gun, think people are just reaching for stories. Because they just so, this, well, the writing read, has been so bad. Well, well, here's the thing. If you read that on the website for the after show that she goes on, I can't be mad at people for taking that. Like, especially if you didn't, but that's the thing. I think the article was wrong in the way they referenced it. They didn't reference, uh, like they try to make it seem like she gave a clue. But if she was talking about the poster and they took her out of context, then you're making okay. two totally different stories. That's bad okay. journalism, actually. Like that's that misleading. is very bad journalism. Um, Agreed. You know, but if that's the case, at this point, at this point, I'm just like, yo, just give me these three more episodes so that we can <laughs> get out of here, man. Give me these episodes and and let me go to fuck home. Let's just let let us go in peace, please. <laughs> live and let live. Okay, <laughs> that's what I want. Okay, that's it. So, ooh, that's it. That's it. So, um, (laughs) do you have anything else to say about this episode? See if anybody. Nah, man, just, just, I just want this episode that like it never happened. We just gone, poof, gone. Right. Um, I don't think. In the, cause in the grand scheme of things, this episode is not going to matter. Mark my words. Gone. Uh, Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll probably expound upon the little things that we saw, but past that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think that's the case. Um, let's see. Bye, Paz. Yeah, pa, I mean, I, I'm not gonna hold you. I don't think we need to see Paz for the rest of the um. Series. <laughs> she she done her time. Shout out once again. Shout out to the actress Elizabeth Rodriguez. Um, I hope her son gets in jail and goes back to school. Junior, I hope you go back to school. You better get straight A's. The way he was hyped about going Listen, back to school, this shit ain't free. Hope he gets a good home. Or just. All of that. Let's close that out. That chapter. Yep. So we got three more, three more episodes, three more episodes, and then we can have our ride up. Um, do me a favor, y'all that listen. Thank you for sending all your 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 um your texts, your emails, um tweets, all of that. Hit us up, poweraftherhourspod at gmail dot com. Tell us what you think, how you think this show was as a series overall. Mm. What do you think of it as a series? Tweet us, text us. I'll save all of them. And we'll read we'll read them because I want to get your thoughts on the legacy of power in the series yeah. and what what um what is this ultimate legacy? What do you think about the series as a whole? Because I think it's going to be interesting when we look back at it in mm-hmm. retrospect and really discuss. Oh, like, I'm excited gonna, to answer that question. That's going to be yeah. good. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Well, I don't think this is probably one of our quickest ones. We have a lot to say because fuck out of here. But but thank you for joining us. You know what I mean? We will be back next week. You can find us all on social media at Power After Hours is the at for the show. I am at Jeff J says and Chrissy, you are. I'm at Chrissy Bree. I'm sorry, were you delayed? What the hell was that? She said, I, I, I said I'm at Chrissy Bree. All right, it ain't I'm my problem. Your mic got issues. All right, whatever, whatever. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's you. I'm done. 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 All right, y'all. Thanks again. We got three more episodes. Stay strong out there. We finishing this. <laughs> All right. Stay strong. Three more episodes. Let's get it. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Peace. I want you to sing it with me. They say this is a dangerous time. Yeah, yeah. I just come from the homeless bar. White nice city, man. I got to think this is where it goes. Yeah. Just now, wait a minute. They say this is a big risk. Say what? I just come from the <laughs> bright light, city light. This is where it goes down. Yeah. I just have enough. <laughs>